Hello and welcome back to Google Online Learning on yet another lesson. So today's lesson is going to be more on the composition that we are we have begun to learn. So as I already said, any composition is going to have three parts. The first part is going to be the mukra, as we say, or in English, we could also say uh, the, the starting of the bondage. It is something that you're going to keep coming back to every time you finish a material, uh, an item that you have prepared, uh, maybe a tan or maybe some kind of a pattern that you have been working on. So that along with uh, everything else that you're going to play, you're going to have to have to have something to return to. So that's going to be basically your uh, the mukra that you're coming back to. So in this case, in our case, the mukra is that we something that we've already learned, which is so that's going to be our mukra. The other two parts, the second part is basically the body of the bandish. If we imagine a, a head, a body and your legs. Uh, so the body of the bandish is going to be called a mancha, which is uh, basically the middle portion of the composition. And the last uh, portion of the composition is usually called antara or the ending. So various artists have various ways to, uh, to uh, present uh, the, the the composition that they're gonna play. So I have heard maestros who have a definite have a signature of playing the composition all together first, and then uh, gradually mm -hmm. going up the stairs. So that could be one way. And there are artists who usually uh, do the the composition mukra first, and then they build on it, and then they suddenly uh, introduce the middle portion. And then they go to, towards the end and then they introduce the last portion, which is the antara. So there is, as you can see, as you can tell that there is no, not really a right or wrong. It is more like how an artist uh, chooses to present uh, his or her music. So keeping that aside, we could decide that later on what sounds best to us or what sounds best to you. You are going to decide that for yourself later as, uh, as, as soon as you learn uh, how to use all of that. So today we are going to learn the manja and the antara of the body. So first I'm gonna we are gonna I'm gonna guide you through and then we are going to use the tabla to uh, position our manja and antara. So I'm gonna begin by playing the original bundis first which is the first part the second part is the manja is so ni re re ga re sa ni dha pa ma dha dha ni re ga re sa so since we haven't really uh, practiced going above uh, just so you know since this is sa this is Shuddhani and you, uh, there's a gap and this is Shuddhatha, a gap again and Pa. And immediately before that is Tibrama. So what we're going to do is Ni Re Re Ga Re. You could give it a slight pull, but straight is also fine for now. So Ni Re Re Ga Re Sa Ni Dha Pa Ma Dha Dha Ni Re Ga Re Sa. Just one more time, and the stroking pattern is very important. So da da ra da ra da ra da ra da da ra da ra da ra da. There's another extension to this, which is Gare 
गे नीरे गा पद पाम गे सानी Manja, one more time. First by the Bandish Mukra and then the Manja. So. basically your mantra so now there is only the third part which is the antara uh, which is left the antara is going to be and one more thing you if all you have to do is memorize the composition because uh, there are no gaps in between you have to just memorize the bandish by heart and then be able to play it the rhythm part is going to fall uh, automatically uh, uh, it's going to it's going to fall in place automatically so no worries on that so the last part is uh, one more thing so classical music uh, we as uh, during the first lessons i already discussed that uh, we don't really change scales rather we change octaves that is the way uh, in classical music works that you have a tonic you have a scale the scale is always set according to your preference and uh, you are going to um, change you can change octaves but not the scale anymore so as uh, as you go further down uh, your composition and you are going to reach your antara the antara is usually always on the very top so as you can see the this bandish for example it started during the middle and then it had a uh, travel up to the lower scale and then now finally we are going to go to the higher pitch and then come back again so it's going to give you the the composition is going to give you an overall idea of how the specific rag uh, sounds like the moon for example the inner lines the finer lines uh, you have an idea of that. so the last part is so ma ma ga ga ma dha ma dha sa sa ni re sa You see how I use the chikaris. So, as I said, every chikari is going to represent one beat. So, mama ga ga da ra da ra da da ra da ra. So as I was saying, uh, the bandish uh, we already played it, but 
one last time before we move on to the tabla i am going to play the entire bandish along with the uh, mukra the manja and the antara uh, without the tabla and then we're gonna finish it off by playing it with the tabla once more so, here goes The first thing you need to do is memorize the bandish part by part. So I'm, I'm guessing you already have the first part down. Uh, we are going to play the bandish one more time, this time with the tabla and I'm also going to dissect uh, different parts of it. But I want you to pay close attention to the fact that if you are in rhythm and if you don't go out of it, the bandish becomes extremely easy to play instantly because it's designed in a way it's just going to follow. You don't have to really uh, use a lot of your brains. All you have to do is stay on track. So keeps on ending but that's okay as soon as, uh, as as long as you get the idea so uh, as you as you saw I'm gonna play it once more just one time this time so second portion uh, on as well now we are going to play from the second portion the manja only uh, jumping to the antara uh, so here goes again Yes. 
right here once again. This time what we are going to do is we are going to focus on the arm. So just like oh, one more thing that I'm, I'm sure you've already noticed that every portion is starting from sum. So every uh, every uh, line we play, for example, the uh, the uh, the mukra has started from uh, sum. The starting of the manja has started from sum. Uh, the second part of the manja has also started from sum, and so will uh, the antara. So playing the antara, I'm going to use the second part of the. I'm going to use the second part of the uh, manja, and then. Gradually from there, I'm going to go to Antara and come back. So, once again. And from here, we are also going to go to the second part of the antara. So it was mama, gaga, madha, madha, sa, sa, nire, sa. So I'm going to start from the antara this time. So. I'm going to for one last time before we depart. I'm gonna play uh, if this app free version doesn't stop me. I'm going to play the entire bandish with the manja and everything just one last time. So this gives me around uh, four uh, beat cycles. It plays 16 for four times in this trial version. So I'm going to try to finish it within the four times. So. start from the manja again Uh, on the entire, this specific bandhis, it, it may sound difficult, it may not add up, 
but I think this video is more than enough for you to understand what's really going on. It's not necessary that you have to understand everything within today, but you will get there eventually. And as soon uh, as we learn, keep on learning more, we are going to uncover uh, better ways to understand this. And it's really all in, uh, it's, it's going to be, you're going to be habituated with this pretty soon. So uh, we'll meet again. I hope the classes are really helping you out. Write to us. We keep on waiting. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.